In this capstone project, I will be extracting heavy water, which is an isotope of regular water. Instead of being made of hydrogen and oxygen, heavy water is made of deuterium and oxygen. Deuterium is an isotope of hydrogen, which has an extra neutron. The purpose of this project is to make concentrated heavy water for practical application as an alternative energy. The topics I will be covering in this video are isotopes, electrochemistry, and I will slightly be going over fusion. Isotopes are elements that have the same number of protons but have a different number of neutrons. A proton is a positively charged particle, and a neutron is a neutrally charged particle. Neutrons are used in atoms to help glue the protons together, as well as add mass. If there are no neutrons, the protons would fling each other away. Electrochemistry is a branch of chemistry that involves the study of how chemical reactions move electrons. It is important in my project because I will be separating the water by a process known as electrolysis. Electrolysis uses a battery, and two electrodes, and an electrolyte, which is used to carry the electron flow. Electrodes are typically metal, metallic substances, that are used to connect a battery to a non-metallic substance. Fusion is the process of fusing two light elements, such as hydrogen, deuterium, or tritium, which is another isotope of hydrogen, into a heavier element like helium to release energy. This is how the sun creates its energy. My project works by electrolyzing an aqueous or water-based solution of lye to separate the water into hydrogen and oxygen gas. There is an 8 to 1 chance that the regular water will be separated instead of the heavy water, which is why that this method works. Another method to extract deuterium is to distill it, which works because heavy water has a slightly higher boiling point than regular water. I was unable to use this method, however, for cost reasons. The materials I used for this project were two mason jars, two steel pipes, lye, two copper plates, paper filters, seven AA batteries, alligator clips, a multimeter, and a many plastic gloves. In the end, I was able to complete a few cycles of electrolysis, however I was not able to get heavy water. When I measured the weight of the final solution, it appeared to be heavier than the regular water, but after subtracting the weight of the added lye, it came out to be the same. This is most likely because I did not do enough electrolysis cycles because I did not have enough time. While doing this project, I learned about electrolysis, electrodes, strong nuclear force, and gluons. If I were to do this project again, I would give myself more time as well as use a more easily separable electrolyte. Thank you for watching.